Hi everybody and welcome back to Apple Cottage. This is Sandy and I am Suburban Homesteader, Wyoming. Well, today is the second day of Christmas, crafts for kiddos. Yesterday we made this cute fireplace so Santa could come down the chimney. And today we're making Christmas angels and a stocking for Santa. This is a great place for you to put your wish list this year. So come along and let's add to our fireplace. Here's our supply list for our, our little Santa's stocking. We need two pieces of red construction paper, one piece of white, Christmas stickers, scissors, a hole punch, some yarn. We need to draw a stocking onto our red paper. So I have both layers. We're gonna leave the top straight across and then we're just gonna bring it down and make a little stocking. We'll come way over to the edge. If you make a mistake, just keep going. We can put that on the inside and that gives us a pattern. We can use, cut a little bit differently if we need to. Now, if we cut both papers at the same time, it makes it a little bit easier. But this one, you can see the lines. But when we flip it over, you don't see it at all. And we have two pieces. So let's move that out of the way. We're gonna put those back together. And then we're gonna grab our hole punch. And there's a lot of different kinds of hole punches. This one collects the little circles. And what we wanna do after the two sheets are lined up, we wanna go about, oh, every half an inch to an inch. And we're just gonna make holes. And I'm gonna go in quarter inch to a half an inch. I'm ready to put the stickers on. And I made sure where we first drew is in the inside so that we will never see those lines. And I'm just gonna line up all the the holes. And I'm just gonna use white snowflake stickers. Remember, you can put as many or as few as you want. And you can just start sticking them any place you want. Now we are gonna use a little bit of white paper across here. So make sure you don't put your stickers up too high. I think that's good. Our next step is we're gonna yarn, put yarn through all these holes. And that's what keeps those two pieces of paper together and makes it into a stocking. Now I do wanna make sure I have enough yarn to go all the way around without having to tie more than one piece of yarn together. The easy way to tell is if you follow it along to make sure it'll go around once and I hold it up and I want to make sure that I have twice that much and maybe a little bit more just in case. I folded the yarn in half and so this is right where it's folded and I'm going to start over on this side so I'm going to turn my stocking and I'm just going to push that through. And the reason why I fold it is because I'm going to send the ends through here and that will form a knot and I don't have to have any bulky knot there. So I'm just going to put that right there. Then we're just going to straighten it out and find our end. And it's just a matter, I'm going to trim those so that they're the same. and I'm just gonna put them through. Now this is where a skewer or a pin can come in handy if you have trouble, if your yarn is really bulky, but this yarn is totally fine. And it's just a matter of taking it from the bottom and going to the top. So I've been just working my way around it 
and always starting at the back, going to the front, starting at the back, going to the front. Now this is my very last one, so I'm actually going to go underneath that. And then I'm going to come back underneath it again. Now what I'm trying to do is make a little loop. And I'm going to tie that off and that way we can hook this onto our fireplace. And so then I have a little loop there that I can hook, um, a, that I can place a hook on and I will be able to hang it on the fireplace. Now we're not quite done. I'm going to trim those off. But I like a stocking that has a little bit of white across here. So we're going to take our white paper and we're going to cut it about two inches thick. I'm going to measure across and I'm going to go above where my little loop is. And so I need it to be about right there. So I'm going to fold that so I can know where to cut. But I don't want this just plain straight. So I'm going to make it kind of roughly so that it looks similar to a cloud. And the reason I'm doing that is it will look like it's softer and more like a real stocking would have. Now the fun thing about this, we can take our glitter glue and write Santa on it. So there we go. And I'm just going to run glue along the bottom side, not the top side. So let's grab our glue just along the bottom how we're going to do that. You don't want too much glue because you don't want it going and seeping through your holes and then maybe your two pieces of paper stick together. And we will just let that dry for a little bit and then we can take our glitter glue and write Santa across there. You could use any color of glitter glue, but because with our angel, we're actually going to use some gold glitter glue. And that was on our supply list for the second part of this video. I'm going to use the gold to write Santa. And we're just going to let that dry before we hang it on our fireplace that we made yesterday. Here are the supplies for our angel. We need a couple pieces of white paper. We need gold glitter glue. We need a gold pipe cleaner, and I got a sparkly one. We need an eight inch plate or something else that's round and eight inches because we're gonna use this to trace. Scissors, tape, a pencil or a pen. Now you'll also need a doily. Now if you don't know what a paper doily is or you couldn't find one in town I'm actually gonna take a piece of white paper and show you how to make one the last thing we'll need is aluminum foil the first thing I'm going to do is I turned my plate upside down I'm going to take a pen but you can use a pencil or a marker or anything you want and I need to draw that 8 inch circle because we're going to cut that out and I need to do it on the white piece of paper and I also need to do it on the aluminum foil. Both of those are cut out and what we're going to do is we want to fold them in half. And I'm just simply going to spread that all over. And of course it's only going to glue the top layer of the paper and the bottom layer of the aluminum foil. And this is going to become the body of our angel. And we are going to spin it around so that these sides come together and this becomes her dress. And so we only have to put a piece of tape back here to hold it. 
so there's the body of our angel. I just overlapped the two sides and I put one piece of tape. And so she can actually stand up now. Now a paper doily is really a round circle that has a lot of parts of it cut out to make it pretty. So say you don't have one or you couldn't find one. So we're gonna fold it in half first. Then I'm actually gonna fold it again because when I cut it, I want both sides of the wings, because both of these are going to be sides of the wings, to be the same. And so let's open it up. We're going to fold it. We don't want to cut on this top part. So I'm going to just take it and I'm going to do an indentation. And then I'm going to come down and so then it starts looking like wings. Then we can take our hole punch that we used in our last project and we can make some holes in there. And that'll just add to it. So then when we open it up, it's even prettier. So what we need to do, what we need to do is hook these onto the back. And I am going to run some glue here, but then I'm going to use tape also. So I got glue here. And I'm going to hook it where we put our tape. And I'm going to go as far up on the top that I can, but I do want it straight with my tape. Then I'm going to run a little bit of tape here and a little bit of tape right here. And when I run that tape, I only want to do it on the underneath side here. It'll make it so it's not very visible. And it gives our wings some more shape to them. I'm just going to grab just a tiny piece of tape. I'm going to roll it. I'm going to lift that down where I have a little bit of glue and do it sideways. So it's going to catch not just the glue part, but the other part of the paper. So then when we lay it down, we have some wings. Now I need to adjust that. I'm a little crooked. So let's adjust that a little bit. Now we can't have an angel without a head, but I first want to make my halo for her because we're going to send that up through where we have a tiny hole right there. I'm using a gold one. I like the contrast between the silver and the gold and we want to send it through and we do have to make a circle in there, but we have to decide where we need to cut it off. And so I'm gonna mark right there, I'm gonna bend it a little bit, pull it back out, and that's where I'm gonna cut it off at. And here, we're gonna make a circle. So I actually have some little bit of M&Ms. They're the little mini ones. And I'm gonna take that around so that I can make it a good circle and I'm going to twist that so it stays and for right now I'm just going to leave it just like it is I'm going to slide that back through there I'm going to tape it so that it stays where I want it to be now remember we're going to have a head there so we have to keep it up higher than what we would think I'm going to grab some tape and I'm going to reach in there and tape that down. So our halo is hooked inside with some tape and we have to make a head. Now an, using a quarter to trace is a really good size for this angel. So let's make an angel head. I'm laying the quarter down. I'm going to trace around it and we're just going to cut it out. Make two or three faces for your angel, and that way you can practice on 
Maybe you want the angel to sing. Maybe you want just a smile. Do you want eyebrows? Do you want eyelashes? Just have some fun. You can use a pen, colored pencils, a pencil. And then you can just see which one of the faces you like the best. We're going to do a layer of glue straight in half and glue that to that pipe cleaner. And after it's attached, we'll put a little piece of tape on the back and then we can bend our halo. We've bent the halo down and our angel is ready. Now you could take some of our glitter glue that we used in our stocking and you might want to do some fun swirls if you're not using a doily. Just something that would make it a little more festive. And we'll just let that dry a little bit and we can put it on the mantle of our fireplace. Weren't those fun crafts to do today? Simply out of yarn and construction paper, we made a Santa. We made a stocking for Santa. We're going to hang that on our fireplace. And then we made an angel for the mantle. Now tomorrow's crafts, for the third day of Christmas Crafts for Kiddos, we're going to make Christmas ornaments. I'll see you tomorrow.